Guten Abend. This is the Burger Plus Kaizen. A gentleman's pocket folding knife. Now let's have a look inside. Now, inside this plainish but solid cardboard box is a really cool zippered pouch. Burka Plus on it. That's good. Nylon zippered pouch. Really good. What's inside? Right. So we have the knife in some Burka waxed paper. I haven't seen the wax paper before. We're going to come to the knife in a sec. A little bit of silica gel. Little tool. So that's uh, fun. It's always interesting to have a little tool that you can make adjustments with. That's great. So we've got a little Velcro pouch there. A little pouch here leaflets so we've got stuff about what in english and german uh about the knife or well, nothing really massively oh no it's not specific about the knife it's just uh knife care in general a little bit that broken okay so that's the stuff we'll put that to one side pretty cool right let's get to look the knife now the wax paper's cool let me just do a bit of crinkling noise Nice. Put that to one side. Here's the knife. Now, <laughs> it's very unusual that I open a knife and I am immediately blown away. But this is just lush. Absolutely awesome. I'm just going to rotate it and so you can see. It's just fantastic. Now, it's not an everyday... Well, it is an everyday carry knife. It's a, a folding, discreet sort of gentleman's knife. It's not a hardcore knife. It's not a bushcraft knife. It's not a hunting knife or anything like that. It's very small and discreet, but so cool. Look at it. All right, I'm going to use... I'm going to open it now. Little nub in there, can you see? A little bit of knurling there. Here we go. Super smooth. Look at that. Look at that. Hushed tones. It's just lush. And it's locking. Look. Little liner lock there. Close it up. I'll open it up again because it's just super smooth. Watch this. Here we go. Hang on. I've got to get it right. I haven't got the hang of it yet. There isn't much to get the hang of, to be fair. I'm just a bit clumsy. Super smooth. Holy moly. It's not spring scissors or anything. It's just on some bearings. Let's have a look. See if we can see in there. There's some... Can you see the bearings? You can probably see the bearings. So it's super smooth. Lovely and... Oh, you can see the little um, bearing on the spring. Let's watch it click in place. There we go. Oh, there we go. Properly. And once it's in place, it's... Absolutely rock solid. There's no play with the spring whatsoever. The blade is only thin, so it's got a bit of flex to it. Still pretty sturdy though, and for everyday use, that's more than adequate. It's got this fantastic black oxide finish to it that uh, obviously doesn't go all the way to the sharpened bit of the blade, and once uh, you start sharpening it, you're going to lose the black oxide. But just out of the box it looks lush and it's d2 they they go d2 steel and it's got this uh fantastic shape to it i'm, I'm struggling to focus because it's so discreet and black it just doesn't reflect any light it's a bit like the monolith from, from 2001 <laughs> little bit of jimping on the back there above the broker plus logo uh, some numbers there which I don't know what they mean but the blade is lovely and it's it's a good useful length um, so it's uh, let's have a look so it's just shy of eight centimeters long that that blade seven point seven centimeters which is a good length isn't it and it's super slim and just so oh, discreet. Oh man, that is lush. Yeah, I like it. Sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look at the rest of it because um, it's not just the blade that's cool. So it's got these lovely green 
canvas micarta scales. Now I've had a few Burger canvas micarta knives in the recent past and they have a little bit of fraying and the same is true here and it's uh, it just frays um, ever so slightly on the edges shall we say. Um, now that is absolutely normal. Now I've I've made a few knives, uh, knife handles using canvas micarta. The weave in the canvas it gets revealed uh, when you sand away the resin that uh, micarta is made of. So micarta is uh, layers of material, so it's paper, linen, micarta, jute, whatever. Um, and it's layers layered in a resin and as you sand the resin away for example here to get this curve you sand the resin away and you end up revealing the weave of the canvas and it's literally pieces of canvas and you can see there that there's bits of the weave are more visible are closer to the surface than others and that happens when you get to an edge so, oh, hang on, let's just get this focus so you can see what I'm talking about there. So you can see here that the, the weave of the canvas, and that's literally bits of canvas, are exposed out of the resin. So, whilst it may seem a little unsightly, it's something that is absolutely um, part of this material, and it'll... It'll age over time. It'll it'll roughen up. It'll some of it will go. More will appear. It's a it's a, it's the nature of the material. Long bit of uh, long winded way of saying don't worry about it. The material is lush though, lovely and grippy. I don't know if you can hear. It's got a good texture to it. Looks fantastic in real life. Hopefully you can see on the video how fantastic it looks too. Up here on the pivot. We've got this massive brass washer. I want to call it a washer. It doesn't. It's not actually a washer. It's not serving the washer purpose. It's just the design. It looks lush. So handsome. Um, so I mean, it would work without those. You you don't need them. It's not an essential part of the structure of the knife. Knife, but it's just a a design feature, I would say. And then the pivot itself is adjustable. Oh man, the focus on it's such a tiny little knife. It, uh, when I'm showing it to you, the camera's struggling to to find something to focus on. So if I wanted to adjust the pivot or even dismantle the whole thing, I've got the tool. They've, they've handily provided the tool in the box, so that's that's great. Uh, I'm not going to start tinkering with it yet. Similarly, with the pocket clip, that is removable if I wanted to. Uh, and I have found that uh, pocket clips loosen over time, so it's nice to be able to remove it, squeeze it tighter again, and then put it back together so that it's, it, it regains its clippiness. But it's a good, it's just a curved bit of metal, but it's good, and it's discreet, and it's nice and smooth, so you can just clip it to your pocket without snagging stuff, and as I said, you can very easily because it's got these little holes there to access the screws you can very easily um, take that off I'm not going to but you, you can then at the end there's this strange fella which is a lanyard tube of sorts big brass rectangular chunky lanyard tube uh, it, I, I referred to 2001 earlier it really does look like the monolith from 2001. Really weird. But that's cool. I love that. Love that big block there. Then um, the frame itself is the same brass as this block, lanyard block, I'm going to call it. And these uh, brassish washers. I'm pretty sure it's brass. Brass. Um, the liners, you can see. And I said it's the frame. Basically, it's 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 bits all bolted together. It, it's not a it's not a one a continuous piece. Um, that's the same brass all the way along. So you can see all the colours. Uh, it's it's sort of autumnal, isn't it? Brass, green, black. It's fantastic. 
So let's, um, uh, what, what else can we see? So we open, the only way to access the blade is with that little, tiny little flicky bit there. You can't get to it. There's no nail, Nick. You can't, there's nothing to grab. It's not protruding in any way. The blade doesn't protrude in any way. It's symmetrical, verging on symmetrical, bar that tiny little nubbin for flicking the knife, the blade out. Once it's out, um, the this side of the liner, which is the spring, I don't know if you can make out the spring element of it here, uh, comes into play, revealing the, the little threads there. And I can just make out a little bolt in there. Can I see it the other side? No. So the liners are glued and bolted into place from the inside and you can see the inside of the scale um, the line I should say is skeletonized to save a bit of weight it's, it's really light it's a very light thing so to I reckon it could be customized wouldn't take much to dismantle it all it's only a few bits the bit that would worry me would be the uh, bearings but presumably they're caged such a such a pleasant thing what a satisfying little thing so we measured the blade didn't we we didn't measure the handle let's have a look at the handle um so from one end to the other it's 11 10.1 centimeters 10.1 centimeters thickness it's very thin very slender it's one centimetre, but if we were to go widest point, including the clip, it's 13 millimetres. I mean, well, that's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? What do you reckon? That, that, that to me is a real corker. And a fit and finish, well, we've looked at the canvas, my Carter. I don't know if you can really include that in fit and finish because it's it's a nature it's the nature of my carter but there is there is that the rest of it uh it's flawless it's flawless let's have a look gaps not really not really i mean the gaps that there are gaps but they're, they're sort of meant to be there they're not manufacturing flaws the blade absolutely dead center clip is perfect Clip is dead straight. Um, everything is tight. This. Uh, oh, I so you, tell you what happens if you squeeze too hard there, it that makes it difficult to open. Uh, anyway, that's just uh, user ineptitude. Um, the opening is super smooth. And nice and easy to close as well. I can't find anything wrong with it. I don't know why I'm trying to find anything wrong with it. Uh, we, we do, don't we, us knife folk? We get something and we try and find fault with it. I don't know why we do that. But aside from the little rough edges, I can't find anything wrong with it. And not... I don't really want to because I, I love this. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I've been sort of into knives for a long time. It's rare that I get one that I'm excited about. This one's just lush. Really like it. It's good fun. I hope you like it. If you did, click like, uh, comment. That would be great. A subscription would be fun. I do other knife videos. You have a look around my channel. You see lots of other knife videos. I do watches and EDC as well. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this Burker Plus Kaizen. I say it, I say it uh, word by word. It's weird. So Burka, made in uh, Germany, in Solingen, um, are, are uh, an old, very old uh, knife brand. And the main brand, the Burka brand, is the is the sort of main brand, the big luxury brand. Then there's the sort of cheaper version, of which this is one, the Burka Plus. And um, I'm just looking on the box. It doesn't say where it's made. Doesn't say where it's made. It may well be made 
in Asia. Does it say anywhere on the blade? No, it doesn't. I don't really mind. But um, it, it, it's just to say, basically, that this is a Broker Plus. Uh, so it's the slightly um, more budget-friendly um, section of the Broker brand. But frankly, I don't think you would... Um, I don't think you would know. By handling it, I mean. There we go. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, that's cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you soon.